Hey everybody, this is Core Harmonic. My name is Emma Ray, and today I am reacting to Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 1 Episode 7 titled Common Ground. I am so excited to see what's next for Omega and The Bad Batch, the rest of the members of The Bad Batch, because she's basically a Bad Batch member now. I want to see Fennec Shen and Cad Bane go one more time because you know Cad Bane is so pissed off right now and he just wants to get back at Fennec Shant and probably assassinate her or more likely really take time with getting his revenge like he wants to probably beat her to a pulp and then shoot her in the head I loved a lot of things in their fight scene, especially with that bomb nearly killing Cad Bane and him just kicking her head off like he literally went for like a, a football kick, like a penalty kick I should say. And Fennec Shen just doing some uppercut with her head like a, a head cut. Him doing a headbutt and you can see the metal plating on his head and you can see that, you know, Cad Bane has gotten old. And he's taking her lightly and that's the problem, you know, because Cad Bane is on another level, Fennec Shant is not there yet. She's more a modern era bounty hunter and I think that's why she was able to defeat him in the first place because he held back. But this goes to show never underestimate Fennec Shant or any newcomer in the bounty hunting game or any game that exists. Guys and gals, you know the usuals, if you want to see the full uncut reaction to this episode and many other shows and movies that I cover, then go over to my Patreon page, the link is in the description down below. It's patreon.com forward slash coreharmonic, check out my socials, follow me there, subscribe, hit that notification bell, smash that like button. These are the reaction highlights, I will be taking notes. Without further ado, enough jibber jabber. Let's get into this reaction right freaking now. I always love opera in any show or movie. It sounds so cool, so epic. Especially when the singer can raise the bar. Who is that? The Some is not your enemy. Commander? We promise to treat all plans within the Confederacy all we asked in exchange was for your loyalty. This is what it's come to. I must be a puppet for the Empire. If you do not comply with their request, you will be arrested like the other senators. Or worse. Hey, you shut your face! If we want to hear you talk, I will shove my arm up your ass and work your mouth like a puppet! And as your senator, I promise... I... I promise to... He can't do it! He can't do it! He's gonna break! No. This is wrong. Yep. It is my duty to act in your best interest. Yes. And Fight! Resist! I can no longer condone this unjust occupation. Let's build the resistance, baby. To scare us. Oh, they're gonna shoot him. We shall not cower at them. Acts of oppression. No, we shall not! You tell him! Ooh! Okay, that's trouble. That's trouble. I haven't seen these machines in a while. I genuinely thought they were gonna shoot him. It's so. On behalf of my master, Senator Avi Singh of Raxus. The Senator has been seized by Imperial authorities and is in grave danger. We require your assistance. Uh, what I'm trying to say is... We need your help! Yeah, but I'm a baseball player now. Right. And I'm a Shakespearean actor. It's so interesting to see the beginning of the Empire, you know? How they went in and started taking over everything. Just insane. So, when's our next mission? With two bounty hunters after you, it'd be wise to keep a low profile. Tech's right. There's too much heat on us right now. Ha! They never stopped us before. The kid's been through enough. She needs a break. 
She does, man. She seems fine to me. I've got a mission for you boys. A simple extraction on Raxis. Raxis? That is the former center of the Separatist government. It has since become an Imperial outpost. I'm not interested in a history lesson, Goggles. <laughs> we hired to locate and free Senator Avi Singh from his confinement. My client will meet you at the given coordinates to brief you. Details are on this. Now get going. Your debt's still I not feel you. Paid, I feel remember. you. A job's a job. Yeah. You don't have a choice, dude. I'll keep an eye on her. I don't exactly trust you either. Yeah, this was Good. that was that was what I was but about to say. The kid safe means more money in my pocket. It's in my best interest to do so. Is um, yeah, yeah, that's Anything true. Anything that's true. To her. Yeah, yeah, bandana. Just get out of here. <laughs> yeah, bandana. She's like, yeah, Sylvester Stallone, get out of here. I have a possessed God in heaven to make a man like Rambo. God didn't make Rambo. I made him. I'm part of the squad too. Then, following orders shouldn't be a problem. Stay close to Sid and don't leave this parlor. Got it, soldier? <sighs> yes, Rambo. Yes, sir. I can't believe we're helping a separatist senator. So you have said. Repeatedly. I always thought we'd make it to Raxus someday. But not like this. Hunter, the client is a separatist. How do we know this isn't a trap? You're clear for entry. Proceed. Now are you convinced? No. Ah, oh, Echo. Forget politics. We're here to do a job. I'm very pleased to hear you say that. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Ken. I am your client. We're working for a droid? That is correct. My master How ironic is that? Arrested. Just take us to where the Senate is being held. Right to it. I like you. Very well. Follow me. Enough with the moping around. You're bringing the mood down around here. Sorry. All right, I'll bite. What's wrong with you? I haven't heard back from them yet. Do you think they're okay? They better be for what this job's paying. Should have gone with them on the mission. It's not fair. You don't like it? Stop pouting and do something about it. Maybe if you weren't so helpless, those four laser brains wouldn't have left you here with me. Eye on you and keep you safe. Hmm. For how much? Not enough. <laughs> Stealth mission. That little, like, walk and run, it's so funny, it's so adorable, it's so cute. Look at that, uh, of course it reminds you of C-3PO, you know. Do be careful. This antique vase was gifted to Senator Singh for his years of service. It is priceless. But why do you put it up so high, though? Yeah, <laughs> droids, that's funny. I wouldn't do that. Hear that? We got an expert here. She's seeing something. Oh, nice! That she can't see. Oh, she's gonna make so much money, isn't she? Gladly. So many credits. How do you know to do that? It's a strategy game. I'm good at strategy. Hmm. How good? Oh boy. Here we go. Defying Imperial law and openly inciting civil discord. I thought we had an understanding, Senator. I refuse to be your puppet. 
My loyalty is to the people, not the Empire. Oh, the Sprug Droids! Nice! Oh, dang! I love the way this machine moves. Oh, he's just throwing them on. <laughs> it moves like a a beetle. I think that was the um, the insect that they made it after, right? Something like that. Oh, so I need to take that one out, man. That is it an ion cannon of some sort? We need to have these stun guns in real life, you know, but like with a, a lower level of damage. Kinda like a... A nerf gun. Like it's super harmless. Ow! Oh! Nice work, Tech! What am I doing? Play. I cannot abandon my people. Well, at least that's good. You will, Senator. But not if you are in Imperial custody. True. You gotta do it differently, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face. He just lost, dude. Alright, show's over. No more bets. I told you to keep a low profile. This, this is, is the opposite, opposite. exactly. <laughs> One match. If you win. Then no more sitting out on missions. You ready for this? Are you? <laughs> Her mind is about to go in overdrive. She's gonna have a bro uh, like a brain blast like gear from Static Shock. Faloni takes over Raxus, which is pretty much a separatist planet. We got to see Senator Avi Singh. And his assistant droid GS8. And the Empire is really not playing around. I think at this time they were starting to go down the road of building the First Order. With all the senators being arrested, uh, including Avi Singh. I wonder what they were going to do to them. Were the Empire going to have them work as slaves or maybe dispose of them? Which are both likely things that the Empire would do and has done before. Such a magnificent droid that this Senator Avi Singh has, which becomes a client uh, for the Senator, you know, and hires the Bad Batch, sends them a message in order for uh, the Senator to be saved. And I love the layers, the levels of irony here with the Bad Batch being hired by a droid working for a droid and saving a senator who is a separatist. The fact that they even have to trust a separatist. And it goes to show that we can agree to disagree and still work with each other and still not kill each other and still be able to share, in this case, planets. Another thing that makes this droid so magnificent is that it's against uh, it's programming to um, hurt a uh, ally or send any allies into danger. What I also loved about this episode is that Hunter and the rest of the boys really got used to Omega. They start missing her, missing having her around, and it goes to show that she has really become part of the family. Of course, we get some epic action from the Bad Batch with Hunter being the MVP of this episode, especially with what he did with one of the uh, stormtroopers. Those troopers actually might have another name, another rank. I need to look it up. I also need to look up what the name of this Star Wars game is. This checkers game. I've heard the name numerous times before, still don't remember it. There are so many things about Star Wars that I have to remember, that I really want to remember. I also want to have the memorabilia, I want to have the action figures, the Funko Pop. I want to have my own man cave with all that stuff in it. It's going to be so awesome and hopefully pass it down one day. 
so that the loving tradition can just continue miles after I'm gone. What I also love is that Omega has been such a strategist throughout this entire episode with her outsmarting Sid and defeating Sid at the checkers game, paying the debt of the Bad Batch because she loves them and also because she doesn't want to sit out on missions anymore. She wants to be an official instead of honorary member of the Bad Batch and she even made a friend with Sid. The droid is so magnificent that it decided to save a boss and the senator was like, I don't care about that, which makes so much sense. It's a guy. Come on. Guys don't really care about stuff like that. Maybe some guys now, maybe some guys in the past even, but it's not really a guy thing. So yeah, when that happened, I was like, uh-huh, yeah, I know, yeah, exactly. We also found out that Praxis is a former separatist center and that Captain Brog uses draconian tactics. Draconian, I think that's something I've heard before in either the Book of Boba Fett which I'm currently watching now or I've actually finished. I just need to uh, do the reaction highlights for it. And maybe The Mandalorian, one of the seasons. But I've definitely heard it before. This was common ground indeed. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Thank you for tuning in. As I always say at the end of these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and the like button as well. It really helps out with the channel. Let's get this channel up to 500 subscribers. These are the amount of people that haven't subscribed to this channel. If you haven't done so already, get me up to 500 subscribers. I need this to happen for this year at least. Hell, this channel needs at least 3,000 to 5,000 subscribers this year. It's a little ambitious. But uh, I think you can get there. So if you have friends, family, colleagues that like this kind of stuff, tell them about Core Harmonic. Again, if you want to see the full uncut reaction, then go over to my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash coreharmonic. The link is in the description box down below. Check out my other links there as well. And I guess there's nothing else left to say. And I hope to see you in the next reaction video, reaction highlights, or full uncut uninterrupted reaction. Bye.